Okay. So uh, my name is Jarrett Farmer. I work for a small hosting company called Emotion Hosting. I'm presenting today on WordPress for Lazy People at 9.49 a.m. So my first question is, are any of you actually lazy? Because, uh, <laughs> go ahead, I'm lazy. I admit it. I admit it. Um, this whole presentation started out as I was covering ways that it, if you do WordPress uh, websites, you do websites in general, you always have your friends that ask you, hey man, I just want a simple site up. Could you knock that up there for me? So I'm sure it's no big deal. He's making a Photoshop, right? And uh, due to that, I've looked for ways to find quick ways to get sites up and uh, ways to be able to turn it over to them to let them uh, take over that site and use it. WordPress being probably the best uh, machine for that since it has a built-in content management system. So all well and fine. So, <clears throat> so that's what this all comes from. And it also comes from the fact that I am very, very lazy. And uh, this is kind of what I expect the creation process of a website to be like. I want it to be, you know, this fun, nice thing that at the very end that I get paid sometimes. Now you're doing sites for friends, this, this somehow manages to not happen a lot. And, uh, uh, but uh, sometimes you do sites for clients, this also doesn't happen a lot. But this is your, your view of how you want it and all that. But this is what tends to be website production. It is not as much fun as you think. And so people have over the years uh, since uh, I, uh, the first website I made uh, was in 1995. It was uh, the X-Files website, and it was with the HTML 1.0. And throughout the years, people have tried to make website creation tools that would make it easy to make a website. Uh, I think the most recent stab at it that was a big deal was Adobe. They uh, tried it with Muse. I don't know if people still use Muse, but it was a good try because you just lay things out and it shoots up and it's what you see is what you get. It's kind of the thing. But no real decent CMS and there were other many problems. So if you're going to do it, and I do recommend WordPress, uh, if you're going to be turning this over to a friend or something like that, uh, there's a couple of things that I would say to do if you're, if you're wanting this site to be low maintenance. And uh, have very few plugins. Plugins are awesome. Plugins are great, but if you hand this over to a noob and they're not understanding how to update their plugins and they're not doing that, then a disaster can really happen. So if this is, once again, a website for somebody who is not very technically advanced or it's a website you don't want to spend a lot of time, keep the plugins minimal. Uh, use page builders or get a theme. Buy a theme. That really, these really are the quickest ways to get a site up in general. And, uh, and then, uh, I am going to shamelessly promote my company. She was a host company with great customer support. I was a customer for seven years, and I really love the company I work at. Um, I, I have a great time there, and it's everything I thought it'd be because you always get someone on the phone, and they always help you out really quick. And if you're lazy, that's the best thing there is. Okay, so here are the, the, the plugins you're generally always going to have to have at least, or, or plugins like it. Now, uh, Kismet, it's now kind of built into WordPress. Uh, it's just sort of there. Uh, it, it helps with the spamming and stuff like that. But then you've got, you, need a, you need a cache um, plugin, even if your servers, now a lot of servers have SSDs. I think most servers do. If you go to a hosting company, you get a new server, it's gonna have an SSD on it. That helps a lot, but you still wanna get a, a, a cache plugin. A, the, uh, a security plugin, if you uh, want minimal problems from this. Uh, I have iThemes up here. I, I'm, not, I do, I'm not endorsing anything I'm about to show. Uh, this just happens to be what I use. This is, these are my go-to things. Um, <clears throat> if you're, if you're going to be selling stuff, you're going to need an SSL, and you're going to need WooCommerce. Uh, I recommend it. It's the most supported one. Everyone uses it. Most all themes work with it. <clears throat> going from that, Page builders. Now I'm going to uh, go page builders to themes here and the differences. Okay, so page builders, they're, you have these grid layouts and uh, you, everything's represented uh, uh, by these layouts and you're not really actually seeing the page. Uh, 
Uh, you're, you're seeing a representative of the page, but it does give you a general idea. It's not, it's not WYSIWYG or anything. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over and show a site I did with, with Divi, which is the one I'm, I have here. Uh, I do not work for Divi, and no way do I endorse Divi. It's just going to be the one I'm showing you. I think it's actually $89 now, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's expensive as far as these. There are free ones, and uh, this just happens to be the one I'm showing today. Oh yeah, you get you get all their themes, and a lot lot more things work with Divi than ever before. The site I'm showing you, this was the state of of it when I when I did this. But uh, I, I I love Divi. Uh, everyone has their favorite page builders, um, but uh, it it probably it's the most elegant in my opinion. But there are other ones. This is just to be the one I'm going to be showing you. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> lifetime update free of charge. I think that's really cool. Um, <clears throat> You can resize the blocks that represent your page by uh, using a mouse. And, uh, and they do have great uh, customer support. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, it goes more into it. It shows, the, it shows like a page, an example page. But we'll, we'll be seeing that of what, what you see when you use Divi. Um, templates. Uh, so I'm going to be showing a, a side I do with a template, too, that never got finished. But templates are, uh, they have pre-made page layouts. And uh, the big problem with them is that sometimes the photos they come with you can and can't use. And it's not always clear. Um, you're going to be adding the copy. Uh, there's no pre-generated copy at all. So it's all up to you. Um, each template is very different. It's kind of like page builders, but much worse. I mean, a, a template can be just a bunch of short codes. And the one I'm going to show you turned out to be a nightmare. It was, it was had high ratings. It seemed to be well liked, but it ended up being uh, a nightmare to use. Um, I'm the one I'm going to be showing you got off of uh, in Envato uh, uh, Theme Forest. All that, uh, if you're familiar with them, if you go to Envato.com, uh, you will see and go to their site. You'll see a ton of template uh, uh, sites, and every template you can imagine is there. Uh, one I'll be covering will be a lawyer theme template. Now, the future, I'm also going to cover that. Um, and basically, I'm going to show something uh, that my company has. I did try to find another competitor so I could show that off to, but I, there's really nothing that anyone has out there like it. And ours isn't ready yet either. It won't be out for another month. But you will, it's basically Wix meets WordPress. It's true WYSIWYG display. Uh, you, you don't actually have to learn short codes or anything like that. It's just what you see is what you get. Uh, and it has built-in image search, so you can quickly uh, replace images. So it tells you whether or not an image costs money up front or whether or not you just have to give the person credit for it. So I'll be covering that as well. So let's go to This is a site I made for a very good friend. And uh, he makes a comic book right now called Lady Mechanica. And he himself uh, can't use computers. Uh, he is one of the best comic book illustrators to ever live, in my opinion. And, uh, but uh, I needed a site that he could, he could use and update um, and uh, that I had to get up quickly. And since I wasn't getting paid for it, I really didn't want to spend too much time, but he's selling stuff on it too, which adds a whole new layer. Um, so I went with Divi, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so let's go to a page. So this is Divi right here. And this is 
this page. Now, as you can see, they're very different looking items, but as far as page builders go and what they do, it is very, very easy to use. You can literally drag and drop your, your, your page uh, items around and resize them. There's, uh, you can generally, let's see if I can grab this, can change the inner margins usually on them. Um, uh, don't want to break his, his site right now. But this is how a page builder looks. All of them are very similar to this one. This probably has the best interface, but you don't really see what you're doing, and that could be an issue. But this is really kind of as <laughs> good as it gets as far as uh, page builders go. Now I had another friend who, um, see our pages, that's a lawyer, and he just needed something simple up. And so I bought this nice theme from Theme Forest. And it's a, it's a very nice theme. And uh, it took me eight hours to get it to this point. And part of it was I had to watch a bunch of uh, uh, w uh, videos just to, even <laughs> uh, just to even know how to get to stuff on this. So if you go to a page on this thing, this is what you see. And um, as you can see, it's just uh, it's not that intuitive. Uh, this, and that's not even a bad page. Let's pull up one of the. This, this site never got done because he did not get me certain content back, back to me. And if he would have been able to more or less uh, edit this himself or be able to see what he was doing, he probably would have gotten it done. But here you go. Here's a page. So that is to a non-technical person, and a non-starter. They're not going to be able to do much with that. And all of this, of course, is once again to avoid work. Because when you really do get your WordPress site up, this is all you really do see. And I'm going to mirror my screens again so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, so here it is, as I called it, lazy times when I signed it, up, set it up. Now, turning on a WordPress site, most everybody, whether you have a GoDaddy account or account with us, you setting up WordPress is a click of a button, and that's great because a few years ago it wasn't. It was, a, it was an involved process, and everything with WordPress has gotten easier. But this is what you see when you first, uh, first get here. Let's go to. All right, so the product I'm about to show off is called Bold Grid. Oh, it's not going to let me into that part. Um, it is a product that is made to give you true WYSIWYG. And, and so that's an instructional video. So when you first come and you first start, you have a quick uh, how-to video. If you really don't need it, you go to Inspirations, and you're going to pick a theme. And you can install it to a staging server or as active. The nice thing about a staging server, let's say 
you're going to be working for months on this in the background. You, you have no deadline on this. As you can sit there and install the staging and it won't mess with your front page. And if later you decide to do a complete site redesign or you just want the client to see some changes on a, a site, you can throw a page to staging and it doesn't go live, yet they can still see it. So we're just going to install this as active. And they have right now, uh, once again, this is not a product you can get yet, but they just have a few, um, uh, let's see, a few themes. I'm going to grab a random one. And uh, the coin system at the top, it's just a way of uh, purchasing photos and uh, from various uh, photography libraries. And it's just a, it's, it's an error, extra layer of security, but uh, you don't have to always pay for photos. Most photos you can get for free, you just have to give credit. And it automatically makes, uh, makes that, that page for you. Let's grab this one. You can, you can go through all of these. They're all responsive. You can preview them. So I'm just going to select one so we can keep going. And you can uh, basically say how many pages you want. I'm just saying base pages. Uh, and then you can change the number of pages later. All of, all of this is, is completely changed. Um, you can look at what it's going to look like on the tablet, on a phone. And that's nice. We're going to select it. And We'll install this website. It'll go through the process of downloading it. And one of the nice things is, is you can always clear out any of these themes and without messing with your, your post, your blog post or whatever, and, and throw in another theme. The software that I'm also showing you is what our design agency and house is using going forward as, as their own system for building sites. So it's being used by uh, even people that it would be considered, I, I would consider hardcore. Okay, so uh, now we're ready to customize this theme. Hmm? It is something. It is something different. Um, it is both a theme and a plugin. Divi's like that. Divi's both a theme and a plugin. It's hard to to really pinpoint it because it does so many different things. Uh, it works with all other plugins. Uh, it's it. it Sometimes they'll be shown as a shortcut code. Some plugins will actually display WYSIWYG, but most plugins do not display WYSIWYG until we write them to display WYSIWYG with it. Uh, but it it is uh, here. Let's go to customize website. Okay, so here is basically how you completely edit the front page. You, you're all familiar with this. Uh, you've seen this uh, site identity. I can change uh, the various. Uh, uh, the various things you're, you're seeing on the screen on the side. Now, this is this is once again most things do this. This is this part isn't one of the neater things. Uh, background. Uh, well, let's do that next. Let's do colors. This is my favorite part of this whole thing. And this is the one of the things that I find the most fun. So you have colored elements throughout your website, and you're trying to pick a color theme. Um, you generally want it to go with the photo, so generally you would pick the photo first. And uh, well, let's do that. Let's get, grab a photo. Background, change image, media library. I don't have any media in here. Oh, I do on this thing.
the fat one. Really obnoxious looking image because it's a picture of my daughter's hero clicks collection. And uh, so, but it's a good one to really test the, the palette system with. So, when you're setting your palette, the main thing you want to do is make sure that the, the main image of your site reflects it. And so, it, here it's easy enough to start uh, uh, selecting and changing the palette around. And let's say, you can see see all this in real time, and you'll notice it's also changing these icons. So all the, the built-in icons throughout are SVG, and they change as you change your palette, based upon your palette. And let's say you find a couple of colors you like. I want, uh, this color can stay the same. Otherwise, yeah. This one to this. All right, so change this one to that. And I'm done with that. All right, so uh, one of the things that I can't seem to get to work right now because, is it that? Nope. Is that I can actually say, do not change this color. Keep this color the same. But this is uh, beta software, and so it's not working right now. But it allows you to quickly go through and change your whole site's palette, and you can spend hours on this. Um, and I always think that's one of the more fun things about a website, is selecting the color, the logo, all that. So that's the fun part of making when you're first making a website. So now let's go back to uh, oops, save and and publish. Keep now this. Well, you can color, as you saw, you, you have the, the color tool where you can color match. So you could, you could do it manually. But one of the things they are going to be adding is uh, the photo. There, there are so many APIs out there. It takes a photo and will give you a quad color system or tri color system. But yeah, the ability to uh, uh, to upload already pre-made ones is uh, is something that they're they're planning to add, and and that is I mean it's such an intricate part of making a website. Your color and your fonts and your logo and you're kind of done. <laughs> those are those are the most important things and really define the way your your page looks. So let's go to a page. Uh, And as you can see, the pages actually look like, the, unlike the other page builders that you saw, they, uh, they look like uh, the, what, you're see, what you're going to get. And let's grab one that has an actual block. Okay, so this allows you to edit, change, change what's in there, but you, you see the things in real time. You can, you can resize it in real time, and you can copy and uh, align it and all that. Uh, but what I'm not seeing, probably because I picked a theme that isn't done yet, Just not seeing it. There should also be uh, the ability to copy blocks, duplicate bo blocks, and uh, basically move the media around them. Like what you saw with, uh, and I'm using the latest, greatest bleeding edge, and obviously it's, it's been broken. 
uh, what you saw with Divi, which was really cool, is the ability to just resize your columns and stuff and see it happen in real time. This does do that normally, but I'm using the latest candidate and they must have, they must have busted it. But this is the future of this. We will not be the only company to do this. I think that even things like Divi and such, you'll start seeing uh, as they go forward, the ability to just really see your page, add blocks to your page, update your page, and what it'll do is make making websites fun again. And I think that is kind of where they've gone back and forth from. When I first made the x site, it was fun. You had HTML 1.0. There was nothing you could really do. You kind of put some text. You put some pictures. But there it was there and interactive and up and everyone saw it. And, and it, was, it was quick. You could have a, a page done in just a couple of minutes. And then as we've gotten more and more complex to get a page up, can take, or just to get your framework up, can take a couple of days. And WordPress has changed all that. With WordPress, you just you hit an install button on no matter what hosting system you've got, and you are done. And, uh, and then you can immediately start adding. And there are all these templates. There are all these page builders. And soon, and <laughs> I wish this worked. This is embarrassing. But soon, there will, be, uh, there will be systems like this that allow you to just quickly, oh, I'll show you one other thing. Hopefully, this will work, um, that you can. Uh, switch out media. And it has, one of the other things is, some, is just finding, uh, is finding what you need. Uh, create galleries again. And it's not letting me in because I'm not in our, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm not in my company's uh, IP, so, uh, it's not going to let me show off the ability to. But basically, you can just search uh, throughout. Uh, I, f I forget which stock image collection system said it, it are, but you just search. I, I need an image of a person at a desk, and you'll see it. And you can always get a free one. You click on it, goes right into the page where you want it. And, uh, and if you click the free kind, it builds a page at the, that isn't part of your menu system, but it'll give credit to the person who made the image that just wants credit. And that's why they did it. So that is the future of making WordPress sites. Soon, us lazy people will have, have an ability to go back to the good, day, good old days where you can procrastinate. And then when you finally get to it, you don't have to know any code. Or even if you do know code, you don't really have to use it if you don't need to. So that being said, and I'm uh, Sorry that it all did not work and run. Any questions? Anyone want to share any experiences they had? Like here, anyone build a site for a friend? Anyone been talked into that? How'd that go? <laughs> did you did you, when you did it? Did you did you grab a template? Did you grab a page builder? Or did you go in and build it the right way? How, all of everyone here WordPress de developers, right? Anybody here? Uh, uh, so how, how many people are really new to WordPress? It's n never used it at all. That's good, because this was aimed This was aimed at somebody that's new. So you probably, uh, once again, keep your, your uh, plugins to a very, very low minimum. But do get something like iThemes. That's the first thing you should install. It's a security plugin. You'll be very glad you did. And uh, then I recommend uh, getting a, a caching program like Total Cache. Those should be the first two things you install. And then pick, you know, then I do recommend a page builder. Um, and uh, yes? So I'm new to it. And now I just when I did, I was scared. <laughs> I have to choose. So like, for example, I just came from the Canvas site. So what you were showing, the page builders and the bold groups, is that something that works in conjunction with like a, a gem system with an alpine, or is it an alternative? To it? It's an alternative. It's all competitors. Uh, like I said, uh, and I hate that it didn't work uh, properly, but uh, it's, it's really neat where it's going in that you're, if you just wait another month <laughs> to start building sites, uh, I, I believe, and I don't, I'm sure we're not the only ones uh, doing what we're doing, but uh, you'll be able to just quickly get in there and build the sites. Pick a theme, because that's what we have. We have a bunch of themes, and we add more every day, because we also have a web design house, and our web design house is making, or they're making new themes every day. And they're using Bold Grid. So this will have a ton of themes. And it'll have a ton of support and a ton of photos. And, uh, and, but no, this, I would think this is a competitor Genesis. Is the part plugin part theme, how do you load it? Or how do you install it? 
It will, uh, well, with, uh, with how we're, we're selling it, for instance, it, it's, it's an o it in itself, it's an open source pro product. So you would become a member of InMotion Hosting or Web Hosting uh, or one, one, of, one of our other brands. You would have access to this. It would install automatically. And it actually changes. Mm -hmm. But if you want to leave us, you can. And you can take that with you, the bold grid with you. Bless you. All that goes with you. It's not like you're, it's a, like Wix, you're stuck with Wix, right? You're, you can't leave Wix. They have your site, and you can't just export it to another platform. It's just a bold grid site. So you can, you can drop it down and, and take it to anywhere you want to go. But at first, to monetize it, we are at first uh, selling it with our serv uh, hosting, hosting products. But that will only go on for like six months to a year, and then it will be its own thing. And it's true open source. And it will be, it'll meet all the guidelines of that. Any other questions? So bold grid will be a theme from InMotion, is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, well, there will be themes within bold grid. So bold grid is a, once again, it's, it's something different. It's, it's kind of like Divi's both a plugin and a theme. Bold grid is kind of like a plugin that houses themes that gives a, a WYSIWYG display and the ability to easily add fo uh, add update your photos and search photo content and, uh, and purchase more, and more themes and switch between themes really seamlessly. It's like, a, well, Divi's like that. I mean, it's got the child theme. So just to be clear, Divi is part of this elegant suite. So the, the overall site is elegant and you net about $80 And when this and when this separates from our when it becomes its own product after it's been put out in the wild and people like it or don't like it, if people like it, then yeah, it'll it'll just be a plugin that you install like any other plugin. It'll be a zip file that you can either download or you just search the plugin repo and just click on it and and there you go. That that hopefully will be soon, but we've got to see how how the world reacts. I mean, it's very different. Once again, it's very different. When if it would have uh, if I would have been using probably the latest bleeding candidate. It would have worked a lot better, but it, it is a really different way of, of working with WordPress sites. It does feel a lot more like a Wix or something in that you're just really dragging and dropping and uh, uh, moving around text and col recoloring things. Probably the easiest uh, plugin I've ever used for WordPress or any, any website thing. Next to Muse. Adobe Muse is the easiest way to get a website up, but it, it has no true CMS outside of Adobe's CMS. and it doesn't have any blog system or anything like that. It's it's just for a single page. I'm I'm more or less done. So, any other questions?